and a very warm welcome to thorough newspaper analysis which is presented to you by law seco today we'll discuss important articles from the newspaper of 9th april 2021 we have two important articles for the day the first is plow to plate hand held by the indian state it is an article from the the hindu newspaper the second is mon g minus 2 landmark study challenges rule book of particle physics it is an article from the indian express so if you are preparing for clat or any other law entrance examinations then you can definitely go through our project maverick course and you can download free study materials from here you can enroll into this course with a very nominal fee and you can get the link to this course in the descriptive section of this video the mcq question for the day is which of the following are subatomic particles option a higgs boson option b positron option c muon option d all of the above you can write your answers in the comment section below the descriptive question for the day is economic policy globally has adhered to the notion that a progressively reduced role of the state would automatically deliver greater economic growth and welfare to the people critically analyze you can write your answers in 250 words in the comment section so the first article of the day is regarding the indian agricultural sector and the role of the state in it since four decades the economic policies have dogmatically adhered to the notion that progressive reduction of state role in the agricultural sector would automatically deliver economic growth and welfare however the author of this article has a objection to it with regards to many factor which rules to the agricultural sector now let's have a look why state intervention is needed as we know due to a variety of limiting factors from uncertainties to the weather to soil fertility and water availability increasing return to scale are very difficult to achieve in farming so it cannot be it cannot be determined whether there can be a increasing return for the harvest secondly out of 9 crore families who draw income from unskilled work 4 crores are small and marginal farmers and these small and marginal farmers are completely dependent on the policies and the will of the government or the state and if the state is removed from the agricultural sector and there is complete monopoly of the corporate sector or the private sector these people might be exploited because these are small marginal or landless laborers who are exploited in general thirdly it it is pointed out that there is a production process in agriculture are to be performed as per the annual climate cycle and it does not get organized as a assembly line therefore all farmer harvest during same time however because of this reason there is a bumper production in the state and because of adequate resources with the farmers they cannot store it in a proper way and there is huge losses incurred by the farmers because of this because they have to sell the producers in a very cheaper rate in the market in this the state can play a very uh, evident role um, such that it can make the cold storages and other facilities to procure and disseminate the products whether by export or by storing them or by uh, making them go through food processing in this way the state can play a very evident role for making the harvest successful and not incurring losses to the farmers thirdly the um, author has pointed out that there is a sheer imbalance of power in the sector of agriculture as, as there are many money lenders involved in this process and these money lenders tend to exploit the farmers because there is shortage of funds sometimes with the farmer and 
they tend to lend money at a very high interest rate that is almost around 60 to 120 percent per annum which creates a debt trap in them and because of this mainly there have been many suicide we have been seeing in the past years there have been more than three lakh farmers who have committed suicide in last 30 years which is a very huge number therefore the author uh, suggests that there is a need for steady market and there is need for uh, state intervention in agricultural sector how let's see locally procured crops can be incorporated into Anganwadi supplementary nutrition and midday meal programs. Secondly, public investment can be done in infrastructure needed for pulse and millet production. And based on it, the production of pulse and millets can also increase. Thirdly, the network of Mondays and sub Mondays can be extended to 4,200 Mondays, which are currently 2,477 Mondays and 2,843 sub Mondays. So these are the ways in which the state need to intervene as there are more than 800 million Indians who are still dependent directly or indirectly in the agricultural sector. Moving ahead, this article is regarding the subatomic particle muon G minus two. So, recently, a newly published result of an international uh, physics review letter hints at a possibility of new physics governing law of nature. And the result of the experiment was studied a subatomic particle called the muon. And this result do not match the prediction of the standard model on which all particles is based and instead it reconfirms the discrepancy that has been detected in an experiment that was held 20 years prior to today's date and in other words the physics we know cannot explain the results measure as per the author of this article. So the results of an experiment which was done by the Fermi lab on the moon do not match that of the prediction done before. So as per today's theory, the, um, the value of G is or the muon is 2.002331836620. However, the new experiment of the Fermi lab shows that the value of G is 2.002331840801. And this is a very important subatomic uh, sub particle, which uh, is very important in all the uh, uh, physics experiments, such as the subatom, uh, like the other um, subatomic particles, like the electrons or protons or pions, etc. Now let's have a look at how the moons uh, do have their. Uh, evolution the protons from the fermi lab accelerated hit a target creating pions and some of these pions decay into muons so the protons hit a target and they become pions and some of these pions become muons then these pions travel around a delivery ring like this and they the, um, they uh, do this uh, thing till they become all the pions become muons and the moon speed around a second ring with a donuts, donuts shaped magnetic field. So moons act like tiny magnets spinning on an axle like tops as they circulate and their spin axis tilts or uh, precesses in a way that relates to their magnetic moment. So this is what moon is. So uh, this was seen that the model uh, which uh, was previously followed and the value of G which was followed before has now a new uh, thing, a new addition in it and a new value is seen in it. In it. So the standard model which was, uh, which determined this value is in question. Now let's see what is a standard model. 
A standard model is basically a rigorous theory that predicts the behavior of the building blocks of the universe. They lay out the rules of six types of quarks. So uh, they lay out the um, Lay, um, so they lay out the building blocks regarding the subatomic particles such as the quarks, six leptons and the Higgs boson particles. These are the fundamental forces and it also lays out how the subatomic atomic particles behave under the influence of electromagnetic forces. The muon is one of the leptons and it is similar to the electrons, but it is 200 times larger and much more unstable. And surviving for a fraction of a second, the experiment called muon G minus two was conducted at US Department of Energy, um, US Department of Energy, which is a Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory that is known as the Fermi Lab. So, so now let's look what was the experiment about. So this experiment, which was conducted in the Fermi lab, it measured the quantity related to muon and following up a previous experiment at the uh, Brookhaven experiment, which was done in 2001. And it concluded that uh, the uh, result of the G value is this. And now in 2021, it has matched to this experiment. The muon G minus two experiment measured this quantity with greater accuracy and it sought to find out whether the discrepancy would persist. So this is a great change and uh, this would change many physics um, theories accordingly. So the significance of this experiment is to claim a discovery. The results need to diverge from standard model by five standard deviation and the current results from Fermi lab and the Brookhaven divers by 4.2. So this is a new uh, breakthrough in the field of physics and it might change many things and many understanding at, and it might open many doors for new physics theories. So this was all about today's newspaper. Thank you. Thank you.